But anyway, that being done and dusted, as long as nothing else interferes and tries to get in our way, we should be able to make it to a electrocution signal and track down where they're having that meeting. As I said, we've been dilly-dallying for some time now. I'll be surprised if we haven't missed the thing entirely. Oh, looks like we won't find out what happens if they uh, don't surrender. Alright, henchmen, you can take pot shots at me all you like. I've, <laughs> I'm way out of your range by now. There. I just need to track the signal to his location. Should be easy enough. And it looks like we're heading. This is the right way. 50-50. <laughs> we picked the right direction first. Maybe our uh, luck's finally starting to turn in the way of the bat. Although we know my luck. We know how quickly that can change. Looks like this signal is coming from somewhere in the Diamond District. And then the Diamond District is where we'll head. It's been quite a while since we've head down to this area of uh, this area of the map. So <laughs> it's about time we've come back here. I wouldn't be surprised if a, um, a crime in progress interrupts our travel down here. Ah, oh, damn, I kind of wanted to hear the rest of that. <laughs> that was, a, yet again, another one of those situations where the henchmen almost get it spot on. Just like, hell, that's like, like such a good theory, the fact that Joker's actually just using these assassins as like a test to see what Batman can do. See, these, these henchmen, these henchmen's conversations, you got to listen to them. They sometimes, very, very rarely, but sometimes have a good insight on these things. It's rare, but it happens. There's the signal. Looks like the electrocutioner is inside the Gotham Royal Hotel. Man. <laughs> Can anyone say die hard? <laughs> ah. Looks like we're, it's going to be a <laughs> McBain. McBain? <laughs> McBain? John McLean entering uh, the plaza all over again. If I can avoid a fight with these guys, I think I will for now. Incoming. Keep the See, what what did I say about having a crime in progress interrupt me? Help me! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry already! Sorry about what? There was me trying to slide attack on you and you're just standing there doing the robot. Whoa! Where the hell were you coming from? Where the hell were these guys hiding? It was like, oh, okay, seriously, Batman, you're not going to do your cape takedown on at least one of them. Most of the time, Batman will fly across the map to do a move. But in, no, in, in this case, he, he, he can barely move two inches in front of him. Ouch. Man, they move quick. Not quick enough, though. Oh, great. And not only have I got these ladies trying to chop the bat nuts off, but I've also got some guy, random dude in the corner trying to snipe me. Fantastic. Ow, 
Ouch! I could have swore I pressed the counter button then. <laughs> you can tell a save me, but I'm out of here. Yeah, well, I'll save you because Batman has this uncanny knack of having to save everyone. Consider yourself very lucky. <laughs> he says like he's getting out of here and he stands there and just continues to do the robot. Yeah, I'm not a dinosaur. If you stand still, I can still see you. <laughs> oh. Well, you can teleport around like Nightcrawler all you like, little lady, but um, no one really can uh, escape the Batman takedown. Radio. Well, I've got all turned around coming after these guys now. I think taking down this sniper is definitely a uh, number one of my list of, list of things to do. Oh wow, that knocked him out. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh man, there are a lot of guys down there. Hmm. Although I don't, I really doubt we're going to be going through the front door. So as far as I know, I think I can actually leave these guys for now. I mean, I wasn't exactly planning on just storming right through the front door. Batman has cojones, but he's not stupid. Yeah, that that over there definitely seems like the route I'm going to take. The Joker's booked out the Royal, but why are SWAT providing security? I need to find out what's going on here. Yeah, right. We ain't forgotten. Good Lieutenant Brandon's a friend. So what's with all the train tracks? It's a surprise. Now why don't you go back to your post and let us finish our work? I'm fine right here, if you don't mind. Who says I mind? Well, I don't know about you guys, but Batman Where definitely minds. Oh, what? I can't even slide tackle a guy with a shield. Now I really hate those shield guys. I need an attitude. <laughs> okay, if you insist. What, you're going to give me the attitude adjustment? You're going to get John Cena on my ass? Yikes! Oh, okay. I was trying to uh, jump over that guy with the shield, but Batman decided just to leap right towards him instead. People's elbow! People's elbow! People's elbow! <laughs> I can keep this up all day! <laughs> but, I will stop because some douchebag has picked up a shield again. Oh, taking out SWAT and one of the Black Mask thugs at the same time. Now that is what I call multitasking. Why is everywhere we go in Gotham absolutely destroyed? Isn't there one place around here that actually still has a... Some form of a... I don't know. I don't know what's the, what the word I'm really thinking for here. That looks like I can't tag that one either. Fair enough. I don't know. Just no, Nowhere around here. Any, any form of style. Um, sort of like a... Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here. And SWAT are doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess he'll find out when I bring in the Joker. Yeah, I get the feeling if he, uh, Brandon knew he was working with someone called the Joker, he wouldn't be uh, so inclined to actually work alongside him. I know Brandon's a bad guy, but it seems like he's one of those people who's got a little bit of self-respect. He has to work with someone who seems to do the same sort of macho... <laughs> bullshit that he does as well.
Office of Manny P. <laughs> Car crash, that sounds like Joker, all right. Do you know what? I didn't even see this on the floor down here. <laughs> That's how oblivious I am today. Oh, I say today, it seems how like oblivious I've been this entire walkthrough, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think that guy's uh, got it in a nutshell. <laughs> he wasn't excited, he just really doesn't care. You're just cannon fodder. going to go about doing this one. There's our way in that window. Oh, the whole, oh no, it's not, is that the door? Oh no, I thought that was the door. It looks like there's the whole floor in there that's electrocuted. Alright, well whatever we do, it looks like we're going to be taking down these guys first. Anyone with armor, anyone with shields? Nope, nope. There is a gun crate over there, so... Nope! Hong Kong Fui, that's the one we're going to be taking down first. Death from above! Okay, looks like he just was completely <laughs> immune to death from above. Good to know for the future. Kill this son of a bitch! Enough of this! Let's get to work, boys. We see worse than you! Oh man, why is Batman so slow? Normally, once you get the critical strike counter going, he, uh... Oh, I suppose really it's the free... Oh, what? I pressed counter. What is with me? It's today. That's more like it. I don't know if it's just me, but everything seems really slow to react today. I'm afraid you are. I oh, will take that level up though. Oh, it looks like that nice combo I got at the start was a one time thing. <laughs> looks like I'm slipping back into my old ways of just fudging up my buttons. But with that done, I think uh, smoke volume, proximity to the gel. Yeah, as I say, the gel's, explosive gel is really good, but for some reason I just never really use it. Uh, new takedown technique, uh, using a special remote claw projectile, heavy capacity by one. I think it's about time I start increasing the batarang damage. And then we can get it across here, because otherwise it's going to get to the point where we unlock some of these uh, upgrades. I'm going to want them, and we still have to work through all the batarangs. So, let's start on, well actually no, we have to just do that. But still, let's, let's get the batarang damage unlocked. I feel that's definitely something we're going to be needing. Not the most cunning of passwords. That was <laughs> pretty simple to use. Or pretty simple to guess. Ah. What am I missing? Yep, that'll be it. <laughs> there was me thinking I'd have to get like a batarang, throw it round, somehow turn off the electricity, all that sort of jazz. It was just literally as simple as pressing a button. Into the hotel we go. And that hotel looked pretty big from the outside as well, so... If this is going to be anything like Die Hard, we're going to be in here for a long time. And god damn, I do hope it is going to be like Die Hard, because you all know how much I love that film. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> looked like Joker's already been... Oh, I thought that was one of Joker's men. I was about to say, it looks like Joker's already began killing his own men, but... Why do I get a feeling we can see a lot more dead rich people? Sir, do you know just where in the hotel the Joker is located? Not yet. Why? Well, it looks like there's a security room in the hotel lobby. You could use the cameras to find him. Okay, I'll try that. Thanks for the tip there, Alfred. I see in this one we can't even go around popping balloons like we used to. Oh, we can! I stand corrected! <laughs> Let the popping begin. I didn't think you could pop balloons in this one. Oh man, I'm glad, I'm glad they brought there back that. explosives here to take down this building. Wonder what other surprises I'll find. Hopefully more balloons. I'm so glad they brought back that back. I did find that fun. Yes, me. He ain't intended to pay up. As soon as one of the assassins kills his back, boss will kill that guy. Keep all the cash in his bank again. No way. Pull a stunt like that, ain't no one gonna trust him again. He'll lose face with the other syndicates in the city. Hey, man, look at what he's been having us do. Do you think he's worried about losing face? Uh, you got a point. Yeah, I've got a feeling Joker doesn't exactly care about fitting in with the, uh, the criminal, uh, coup de guerre, I suppose is one way of putting it, the social, the social norm, the social click. I think we'll, hey, I just took that thing out, unless I must have taken out his gun. I think all Joker cares about is Joker. There we go, that's much better. I must have taken out his gun the first time around. That's kind of frustrating. Right, I could go around and try and set up some explosive traps, but that sort of thing never really worked for me. <laughs> never really works for me in the long term. So let's just do this the old fashioned way. Starting with the old inverted takedown. At least this time they won't respawn. Or at least in theory, they won't. Right, now they're all going to run over to that guy. So who is that going to leave on their own? <laughs> right in front of <laughs> right in front of his friends. <laughs> I knew he was going to see me the second I did that. But it was just, the opportunity was right there. Oh, looks like he's got that sensor back up again. Nope, 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 get that gun out of my face. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo, he got away from me. You serious? Oh, in my eyes. Jammer's up and running. I uh, really doubt it is there. <laughs> Oh man, it looks like he has got the jammer up and running now. Man, I really wish he would separate from the rest of them. Oh Jesus, I had no idea that guy was there. Move, Batman! I did not know that guy was there at that moment. <laughs> I thought it was just the one guy that was there. I was going to try and do a sneak attack on him. I had no idea he had that other guy sitting there. Well, I was about to get the drop on that guy, and then I went and came and popped out of cover. Yep, I am really screwing this one up again. I, I just, I do suck at the sneaky, sneaky parts of this. I really do. <laughs> I've run out. Have I still not got my smoke pellets back? It seems like I used them ages ago. Oh, 
my imagination. I can't see! Oh my lord, will one of these gas pellets actually hit him? There we go! <laughs> Took long enough. not going my way. The one time one of those floor gratings actually runs out of room as well. Normally they go in like a square. <laughs> God, I'm just sucking this right up. And the jammer is still up as well, just to make matters worse. Before they get up! Oh, man. Right, hopefully that time got- There we go, finally! T took long enough, but <laughs> the jammer's finally down now. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think it was possible to actually done this any worse than I have right now. Oh, lordy. You gonna follow me up? <laughs> Be my guest. Oh, man. Thousand fists of fury to your dumb face. When I say that, it's not exactly like I did much better. <laughs> I need to enter the security room and look for the Joker. Oh god, what did I do to that guy's arm? I turned him into Mr. Fantastic. Do I have to hack this thing? Can't I just jump through the window? No, apparently not. See, that seems just like prime window smashing material for Batman. Any other part of the game and he just would have let right through that bad boy. Friends. Assassins, welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cusioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. Adjourn. 
Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No. He's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. <laughs> that lift should get me up to the ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. <laughs> 